Yo, what's up guys and welcome back to commentaries. I'm pretty excited to get back to this. Um, I watch fail videos and crash videos almost daily for no damn reason. It's like me watching fight videos all day and I'm not sure why I do it, but I really enjoy it. So, I mean, instead of, that, that's kind of why I started commentaries in the first place. I, I watched them and I used to talk to my friends about them and I'm like, why won't I just create a video format of it and I have the weirdest humor, so this is what we did. That's, that's what we did and that's kind of what the ch channel went viral. So I am planning, planning, when I say planning, I hope I stick to it, is to do it again, but in a more relaxed format, kind of hanging out in the podcast room and we're gonna do it. But first off, Gotta thank the two guys that joined up on Patreon to support the channel because YouTube loves to demonetize me. In the last month or two, I think over a dozen, almost a dozen videos have been, been demonetized on my channel. Through, I don't know who it is. I mean, I know the company, but I know of the company. What they do is they find old videos and they just kind of go backwards and they just trail off each video like that. So it's been become really hard really hard to make uh make a living on youtube but either way thank you guys for supporting on patreon if you want to support too link in the uh, link in the description below and on the screen cool let's jump right into the first video we're going to talk about and this video unfortunately is a beautiful ferrari from what i understand is two ferraris and um you know you reach an age where you're like you know what i think i'm done showing off i'm kind of happy with who i am and what i am but I get, apparently, um, you can still kind of show off when you're old. So let's watch this. So I think this guy in the red one fell victim to the crowd and power. Do you guys remember back in old videos? When you mix power and crowd, you have this formula where for guys, it just makes you want to show off for some reason, especially when you have a badass car. So the guy stops really abruptly right in front of him, and the red one couldn't stop fast enough and just wham, rams right into him. And it looks like they're an older couple. The lady is in a beautiful turquoise Tiffany blue dress. Very nice. Kind of sucks. You want to see the front end of it? Ooh. Prepare to be sad, man. Watch this. Ooh. Look at those pictures. Hm. Makes me sad. A lot of fluid, too. Damn. Looks like he has a sticker on the front. So, and has a number on the side. Looks like they're pro probably coming from a rally. Maybe a charity. I'm not sure what country this is from. So if you guys know, let me know. All right. This next one is kind of sad, guys. So be prepared. Um, it happened very recently. And I want to say recent. It was probably as of today. But um, this happened in Quebec. Uh, I believe the driver is about 40 years old. And from some articles, they say there was a female in there, possibly his wife, but pretty much there's a ferry with cars on it, um, and it's pulling away from the dock. The RV, which is the male passenger, uh, jumps the um, the dock and lands into the ferry pretty far away, and uh, he ends up passing away. But watch this, and we'll talk about uh, more about it. So from what I understand, he passed away, um, and his wife is in critical condition. Um, unfortunate freaking event, but fortunate that it landed on the dock or on the ferry itself. Because if it landed in the water, she the, the the passenger would have been done, most likely drowned. But in this this right here situation freaking sucks, man. But um, it's fortunate that she did land there with people to help her out. Hopefully she recovers. But take a look at this. If you rewind it back just a little bit, you see there's a female onto your left side of your screen, right? And she's walking uh, from the passenger side of the truck around to the tailgate and around to um, the center towards the right of the ship. About five seconds from the center point of where the RV landed before that, she was standing right there. Yeah, that is scary as hell scary and before and right after that simultaneously there's another male walking towards the same direction you see him on the left side of your screen he's walking the same direction and man he luckily he spots this thing in midair that's flying in midair crashes into oh it is scary but there's not much more information on that. Hopefully the, um, she recovers. But, man, you just never know when it's time to go, right? Next video. I'm not sure where this is from. 
Uh, we're driving on the right side of the road, which could be pretty much anywhere. Street signs don't look very familiar to the U.S. to me, but I don't know. Um, you guys have all been in this situation before. You're sitting in traffic. It's slowing down pretty quick, and what do you do, right? Usually, I look on the right behind me in the rearview mirror just to make sure no one's going to ram into me. But today, in this video, someone rammed into many of them. All right, let's check out this video real quick. If you rewind it towards the beginning, you're going to see the big, the big bobtail, the big truck drive pretty fast not slowing down you don't see any brake lights here if you look at this there, there are no brake lights but as he gets closer you can tell man there's the driver's probably still trying to control it because he ends up trying to split the lane instead of ram right into somebody he ends up taking out both lanes unfortunately um even when you advance the video forward a bit you don't see any brake lights still so mechanical failure some sort of failure or just not paying attention. The only thing interesting is that he did split the lane. You guys want to see the aftermath of it? I think when I watch the full length video and all, everything is going to be in the description if you guys want to watch it. If you fast forward it, it looks like a driver is driving the opposite side, uh, opposite direction of the uh, the accident. He takes out about almost 10 cars and gets wedged between um, another vehicle and a, a big rig, a semi. And... Uh, Damn, this, the destruction is pretty intense. Here's one suggestion for you guys. When this does happen, if you guys watch the video, there's a father and it looks like a daughter standing in the middle of the freeway. Traffic is still flowing past you. So you definitely want to try to get out of the way as much as you can. I know you guys don't want to move because of insurance stuff, but for the most part, if you take some pictures, the cops can 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 figure out the layout of the, of the scene. They'd rather you be safe. What I've seen a lot is like simple fender benders when it's a simple one. Let's say if you guys get in a car accident, and someone bumps into you, and it's not huge damage, no one's really hurt, you guys can pull off to the side of the freeway. The cops don't need you in that position in order to take a report or anything else like that. So you can actually pull off the freeway, pull off the road somewhere safe, and then exchange information from there. That way you don't end up hindering traffic or causing another accident. There's been many times where I personally have seen an accident cause another accident because someone's looking, not paying attention, or, or the, the, the uh, traffic just stops way too quickly. So just food for thought for you guys. If you guys stay to this part of the video, you're into for a treat. So I have a story on this one. I want you to watch it. Don't be so judgmental with this guy. I'm going to explain to you what may have happened in his mind. What had happened was... Watch this. It was at this moment that he knew he fucked up. All right, guys, you, what do you want to say? Come on, just tell me what you want to say. You want to call him an idiot? You want to call him a dumbass? You want to call him names, right? But let me let me be the uh, the devil's advocate over here. He is racing a car that doesn't look like a, a super dragged out car. Looks like this is a big event because there's a lot of cool cars there. There's a couple Beamers, some Mustangs you guys can see in the background. I see an Audi back there. From here, it looks like there's a lot of people. And it looks like a very relaxed drag strip, I think. I don't even know if it's a drag strip. It looks like maybe just an uh, airstrip, honestly. Because there's no... I mean, usually they don't allow people to be that close to the drag area. The two black lines, usually like a burnout box. Uh, it allows you to warm up your tires. So what may have happened was he did a quick burnout, put it in reverse to come back to the line, forgot to put in drive. That's probably what usually happens. Usually at drag strips, you do the burnout, you roll back, and usually you put it in drive to roll forward so you can trigger those lights. Sometimes they overshoot it, they put it in reverse, they back up slightly, but usually, usually, usually people will tell you, hey, your reverse lights are still on. Right here, I don't know why the beamer behind him didn't honk his horn. I don't know the situation really. You guys want to see the Beamer? The Beamer's pretty bad. Here, check it out. Oof. That's embarrassing. Oof. Look, and everyone starts walking over to you. Damn. That's the hard part. It's like, yeah, you know, it sucks you damage your car and a, you damage someone else's car. But now you've got to deal with the repercussion of social media. Because people like me will end up talking about it. And, you know... All the stories. Imagine being that Beamer guy right now. He's sitting in his car like, dude, bruh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Like, how 
the fuck does this happen? And you know what? I'm curious. How does the insurance cover this? He's at a drag strip. Was insurance cover that? Hmm. Interesting. All right, guys, we're going to end the video today right here. If you guys like commentaries, you guys want it back, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe. And if you guys are able to support on Patreon, feel free to do so. The link is in the description below. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Until next time, I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.